what's up? It's your guy, Double D, Derek Dines, DefeatTheBook.com. Let us help you beat the odds. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Either way, I thank you for tuning in. It's greatly appreciated. Thumbs up, subscribe, click the bell so you're notified every single time I drop anything on this channel. Didn't get to drop anything on this channel here. Yesterday, I did drop a free one over on Twitter. We had Derek White uh, over under points and assists, and we cashed that nice and easy for you guys there as we cashed both of our NBA props, all right? No way, November is still going on, 30 days of plays. Um, no matter when you sign up. So for now, you'll get 30 days uh, of everything that I have on my card. Got to tighten up college basketball. I'm really upset about it. It's not been going the way I expected it to go. So we're going to reel it back in until we get things um, dialed in and ready to go. But we had a nice day in the NBA. So we have college football today. We have NFL today. And we'll have some basketball as well. So let's get into it without further ado. It's Thursday night football. Should be an awesome matchup. I'm expecting one of the better Thursday night football games that we've seen this so far this season as we have the Bengals going on the road, three and a half point dogs going up against the Baltimore Ravens here. We see the Ravens have been uh, arguably one of the best teams in the NFL. The big question with me is what are they going to do in the second half? Total now is up to 46. Shop around, get the best number that you can. Always advise that you have multiple books. Um, but the big thing with me is, uh, well, there's a lot of things I have questions I have with the Ravens, right? Um, is this they've already played this season they're three point they've won by three points against the Bengals but for me the big questions are what's the going to do in the fourth quarter um he's had a lot of turnovers in the fourth quarter between interceptions um and fumbles he has more interceptions and fumbles than he does passing touchdowns this season which is concerning um his fourth quarter QBR has not been great um as he seems to be just just not not being the same guy through the first three quarters I think a lot of the second half game planning I don't like as well Though the Ravens really tend to get up on people and then let off the gas there in the second half where they kick end up kicking a lot of field goals, not scoring touchdowns, um, and blowing a lot of fourth quarter leads now. On the other side for the Bengals, started off very slow with Joe Burrow um, and the calf injury. But since coming off that bye, he's looked like the Joe Burrow we've expected to see. Moving better, throwing better. Obviously, no T. Higgins in this matchup. Hendrickson um, is, is, supposed to, uh, is supposed to play here on the defensive line. Um, I believe Hubbard is out. Um, but yeah, most of the most of the major players are going to be there. Cam Braid is expected to play as he's one of the top three, I believe, in the NFL in interceptions here this season. So a lot of key matchups to look for across the board here. Tough for me to believe that the Bengals are going to be season swept by the Ravens. Um, they're now on the outside looking in for the playoffs. I believe they're number eight, the last, the first team out if the playoffs were to start today after their loss to the Texans. Um, and then the Ravens had that fourth quarter loss that they blew to the Browns there. So they're still second place in the AFC here. Um, at seven and three, but this is going to be an awesome matchup. But I'm going to have to back the Cincinnati Bengals here in this matchup. I really am worried about Lamar's turnovers, um, his fumbles, and 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 his interceptions. Not really so much the interceptions, but the fumbles when they use him so much in uh, quarterback run and read option, and then some of these scrambles where he's holding the ball out like a hot dog. It's an opportunity for the Bengals um, to turn the ball over. By the way, the Bengals number one in the NFL in turnover margin. They don't turn it over a ton, and they're going to turn you over. Um, so I believe the Ravens are going to give them some opportunities that Joe Burrow will not uh, will not fumble or I shouldn't. Well, no pun intended, but yeah, will not lose that opportunity to try to score some points here. But this is a get back game, I believe, for the Bengals. Obviously, I think the Ravens will be up for it, but I think three and a half as we're getting over the three. I like the Bengals more and more. Give me those Cincinnati Bengals plus the three and a half is the official free pick of the day. Let me know if you agree disagree, whatever the case may be, put your selections down below. Let's get a free pick win here. Derek Dimes, DefeatTheBook.com. Let us help you beat the odds. Best of luck if you decide to tell. But either way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Good luck.